Okay, welcome. Uh, it's been quite a while since we've done uh, one of our webinars. So um, we've been busy traveling and um, just getting accustomed to summer and the kids being home. It's always a, a tricky kind of year. Um, to be juggling everything around and uh, to figure out our, our schedule, our routine. Whenever there's changes in routine, it makes it a little stressful, but we're, we're adjusting and uh, I really enjoy doing these webinars. Um, so thank you guys for showing up. If you are new to Team Momentum or new to Avon, welcome. Uh, I open this video, uh, this webinar up to my team and then people that are not on my team as well. So it's something that um, we've done for a couple years. Uh, we've made some exciting changes where Cheryl has joined me and then we have um, a guest speaker from Team Momentum. So tonight it is Leisha Johnson and I'm excited to hear her tips a little bit later. Um, so I've been selling Avon for over 10 years, uh, kind of hard to believe, but watched my kids grow up as I've done this. Um, it's been so rewarding and uh, such a perfect career for a young mom to be able to build my work schedule around um, my personal life. So. I'm very grateful for all of the opportunities that Avon provides and how flexible the Avon business is. Uh, I had started with a different direct sales company and really did not like the idea of home parties. Uh, and that's kind of what drew me to Avon. Okay, so I can just hand out catalogs and collect, collect sales that way. So, um, it was good to be able to have that flexibility because um, you even can do home parties or events or online parties with Avon. So find uh, what brings you joy and it doesn't feel like work. And then when you start getting a team around you, it becomes even more fun. Um, so recently I have uh, taken down the training that was available for purchase. Um, I am no longer going to be doing any paid training. Um, any of you who have purchased access and then everyone on Team Momentum has free access to my training. Um, is anyone having trouble hearing my voice? No. Uh, what? No. No. Okay. Um, so there's so many different issues that can affect uh, the quality of these videos and sound and everything. Um, sometimes it is, let's see, Cheryl. Um, so yes, I'm hearing, yes. Okay. Is my voice going in and out? Let me see. I'll do a check in here. You sound good on my end. Okay. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Um, so the best way to still get tips and um, information is to uh, follow my YouTube channel. So that's where I'll be um, posting most of my info. And then I do, um, we will be having these calls every other week, uh, as long as we don't have a lot of other Avon events going on at the same time. Okay, so let's take a look at our quotes for tonight. Comparison kills individuality and initiative. Dream and follow your heart and play your own game. Um, so, so important in our network marketing business um, especially with, um, with face, oops, I'm sorry, Facebook and social media. Um, it's easy to get on there and compare yourself to others. Um, I have videos coming on here. Hang on guys. I'll take you off video so you don't, <laughs> don't get mad at me here. Um, okay. 
Uh, so don't compare yourself to others. Really play your own game. Keep track of your own numbers. Um, improve upon your own performance. Um, do things the way that you really enjoy doing it and build the business that works for you. Rob's doing a dance for me over here. <laughs> <laughs> distraction um, anyways don't get caught up in the negative side of the business really do your own thing um, compare how you did the campaign a year ago or if you're new uh, keep trying to improve every single campaign um, you can never get jealous of yourself so if you're always looking to you and you know that's something you can control, you can always be improving your performance. Um, so the one who follows the crowd will usually get no further than the crowd. The one who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever been. Um, so sometimes, uh, go in a different path than everyone else feels a little lonely. Um, but just make sure that you're uh, in congruence with your own values. I, you know, I know I make sure to protect me and my family. And then I try to help others uh, on my team. And then I try to help even more than that. Um, so really focus on your priorities and what makes you happy. Um, and you really can take this save on business to um, the place that you dream of, where you're really making good money, um, you're able to contribute well to your family, live a better life than you would have without the Avon opportunity. Um, don't get caught up in um, feeling like you have to be a part of everything, because that's not necessarily um, what's going to grow your business. So you really have to look at your values and make sure that you're prioritizing accordingly on your everyday basis. So team momentum is 1,320 reps strong. Um, pretty exciting. And uh, I love using the zap. Yay! <laughs> Um, to kind of highlight some of our, our team members, some of our newer ones, leaders, top sellers, those are, that are getting engaged and um, helping other representatives. Uh, so just really fun to see all of the growth. Uh, if you are newer to the team, um, we have already hit 1.2 million for the 2018 cycle. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm not hoping, I'm knowing that we're going to approach the 4 million mark by the end of the year. So we have team increase of over 500,000. Um, I am calculating us to end at almost a $2 million increase over last year's sales. Um, so Here's some pictures from the most recent PRP celebration. So that's where uh, the top leaders and sellers in the nation go. This year it was at Disney. Um, and then this is at our PRP celebration. So that's for all President's Club members and above. Um, and these are actually my LABC employees, Holly and Lindsay. Um, and we were lucky enough to have Mike Connaughton join us at our PC event in Streamwood. Um, so lots of fun celebrating and recognition. Um, really what this company is about. Um, there's so many opportunities, but you have to seize them and go after them and um, keep yourself accountable. Uh, so I did invite the PC members and above to a retreat. So that was really cool. Um, not just me getting to know my team members better, but them getting to know each other. Um, and just watching the bonds that they formed over the weekend. 
So I encourage all of Team Momentum to make it to President's Club or higher, um, as I will continue to try and do something similar. Um, I don't like to make empty promises, so I, I definitely think it was worth it and probably something I'll be doing next year. I just need to uh, figure out the details before I, I speak any more about it. But um, make your way to President's Club. You won't regret it. We uh, did really well in campaign 12, over 111,000. Um, so that's uh, the amount of Avon sales we did in two weeks as Team Momentum. Um, we are number 32 in the nation year to date. Uh, so some of our top achievers there. And uh, some of you that have recently promoted in title. Um, so we have Patsy Belcher and Lacey Quagenbush, Jen Allen, and Lisa Scott. So um, way hey. to go. They have started their leadership journey. Um, my biggest piece of advice to you right now is to keep adding to your team. Do not take rejection or the lack of initiative on your on your team members part personally. I think that's the hardest thing to get over in the beginning um, because there is, um, it's kind of a struggle, right? You try to like talk people into joining your team um, and then they join and they're gonna do awesome and not everyone ends up doing awesome. So you just have to keep pushing and providing support and helping your team to be successful. Um, but what you can't do is do it for them. So um, my biggest piece of advice is to always be growing um, your sales, your online sales and your team. Um, so it's been, I don't, I think our last call was in April. So it really has been a long time since we've met. Um, I just had my five year class reunion. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was 20 years, um, but fun to reminisce and go back with high school friends here. Um, we went on the cruise like a boss incentive. Cheryl and Becky were there from Team Momentum, and here's Emily Stevens and our Fran, friend, Ann Canuti. Um, here's Cheryl and I at our little uh, Hawaiian fest, and here's that house that we rented. Um, really great time, and getting to see my team recognized up on stage um, was a, a special moment for me. I got to present a uh, Cheryl with the Spirit of Avon Award, so that was also um, a highlight Yay. of the event. Yay! Um, kids are off school, so um, mom is in crazy runaround mode. <laughs> I try to get done as much as I can. Um, it's not easy and I don't do it perfectly. Uh, I just try my best every day to uh, really make the most of every day, be the best mom, be the best wife that I can. And I love my Avon business. So I'm always trying to work that in there and uh, work with Team Momentum. We had some really exciting uh, news that we found out while we were in Disney. So Avon is the first ever national presenting sponsor of the American Society Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. Uh, I, I maybe have missed cancer right in there. <laughs> um, but instead of the Avon 39, uh, Avon is now supporting all of the local walks for the American Cancer Society. Um, Thank so goodness. Yay! <laughs> so it's three to five miles um, instead of 39. You guys can all achieve it. And I think um, it would just be fabulous to show such a great representation of representatives at those walks. Um, there's no registration fee. 
and there's no fundraising minimum. So go and go to this website and find your local walk. And I really urge you to get involved. Um, part of being successful in your Avon business um, and growing a successful team is about getting involved and engaged. And as much as I love doing stuff online, I do know that the personal relationships and the moments and the experiences that you have together um, could never be replaced with a video or a Facebook news feed. So um, make sure that you are getting involved with Avon's events and activities. Um, so now they've gone to the Campaign Insider. So every week they are going on the Avon USA representative Facebook page to give you updates for the campaign and then the mid campaign the following week. Um, so be sure to check those out. Um, just because you like them on Facebook doesn't mean that you'll see it in your newsbook feed. So try to uh, make a conscious effort to actually go to the Avon USA page um, and see what they are video streaming, see what they're posting, and uh, be involved there as well. We have Barbara Corcoran as one of our motivational speakers at RepFest. I'm really excited about that part. Um, we have the Amp It Up pop-up tour going around. Um, so Avon has invested in um, really bumping our brand and uh, being present at these different uh, music festivals and um, beer and taste of the city festivals. And Leisha, it just so happens, just was working at one last, last weekend? Weekend before last, yeah. Okay, so why don't you tell, give us a little bit uh, overview of what it was like and, and what your thoughts were. It was very busy. <laughs> it was, it was hot, and it was it was a taste of Cincinnati. We were right by the stage. Um, we had a, a ton of people coming through. They had the mini makeovers. Um, they had they were giving away a trip to the CMA uh, festival that was in Nashville this past weekend, oh, cool. and so they had a lot of people signing up for that. It was what was really fun was getting to interact with all the people. I think that the I wasn't sure they wouldn't let us pass out business cards. They may have done that at some of the other ones because I've seen some people talking about that from some of the other events, but where I was, they wouldn't let us pass out business cards or get our name out there. But but I did get uh, like 25 Alma leads just over the weekend that I think came from the tour before that in North Carolina Woo! because it it doesn't say for where it comes from it says unknown okay. but they were all in North Carolina and I know Amy uh, got some from Ohio so I think hers probably came from the one that I was at wow that's awesome yeah very cool all right well thank you for sharing Mm -hmm. We have um, the June virtual sales meeting is coming up a week from tomorrow. Uh, be sure to always register for those webinars. Um, even my webinars register that way. If you don't attend, um, you should get the email with the playback link. Uh, last year's Rep Fest, we were the first to try Aspira. So you really don't want to miss RevFest. Um, there's exciting stuff that happens there that you definitely will feel like you're missing out if you're not there. So that is one thing where I say, yes, you do need to be there. It will change your Avon business um, and build an excitement in you and your team members that um, won't be found anywhere else. There's nowhere else you can create that type of excitement. You get to see the Christmas product lineup. So um, getting real pictures and doing videos and really sharing um, the Avon environment with your prospective customers, your team members, 
Um, it's so important. And I think uh, that's really how you can differentiate yourself on social media um, is not just by always posting um, the nice marketing images that we have, but showing real life, how Avon helps you and which products you use and love um, and what jewelry you're showing. Um, so you always want to wear and share. Uh, I ask you to take that even further and snap a shot of whatever you're wearing and sharing that day. Also share it on social media. I think sometimes uh, social media is overthought um, and then you never end up posting anything. So um, just make it part of your routine during the day. Uh, today I got Ava ready for camp. They were supposed to have sunscreen on when they got there. So I took the bug guard lotion, I put it on her. It, it uh, served the purpose of sunscreen and bug repellent. And I told her to hold it and take a picture and up on Facebook it went. So <laughs> um, just get used to wearing and sharing in your community and then taking it a step further and also sharing on social media. Um, so avonrepfest.com is where you wanna go register. Um, a private concert by <coughs> Rascal Flats. It's July 27th to the 29th. Um, we may be closing on our new house shortly after so um, we're gonna have a lot going on but we hope that you guys join us Rob and I will be there um, we will definitely do something as a team um, I can't really think past like tomorrow right now so um, but but don't worry I will plan something and we will all have uh, the best time and get to know each other there Yay, yes, thank you, Lori. I've been uh, kind of quiet about it because um, I've learned my lesson, like getting excited and then sharing it with the world. <laughs> so I'm a little bit more reserved on some things now until I'm, I'm sure it's gonna happen. Um, but join this Facebook group. It's full of Avon representatives. You can find someone to carpool with. You can find someone to room with. Um, you can get to know people and meet people at dinners and everywhere else. Uh, so you are not alone. I once did not know many Avon reps and was scared of going to events myself. So um, I do know what it's like, uh, but I promise that gets easier the more you go and the more you engage. So we will be getting double dollars in campaign 19 that is a huge perk, um, especially if you're gonna hit President's Club or a higher sales level this cycle. Um, double dollars can do that for you. Um, so campaign 19, that's just around the corner, guys. Um, start planning now. How are you going to make the most of that campaign? Um, having a, a good sales good sales amount in a campaign does not start the day when that campaign starts. It starts long before when you start looking at that what's new, um, you see what the specials are, what the new products are, and how are you going to make the most of that book. Um, so coming up with the kids line, I hope right now that you're thinking of all of those moms and grandmas and anyone else who has small kids um, what you're going to do to really launch that product line. Um, so start planning ahead. The longer you're in the business, the better you'll get about doing that. Um, so and the the yeah. double dollar the double dollars are only for Rep Fest attendees, correct? Yes, ma'am. And also one more thing about Rep Fest, they're going to announce the next trip incentive. Woo. Woo. Where are we going? Awesome. We'll have to start making some guesses now. Um, I still remember the, the horn from the ship going off at Rep Fest last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too much fun. So um, here is your team momentum registered attendees. I hope we double that by 
um, the end of next month. So there we are last year in Nashville. Um, we had about 25, I think. Um, we have 40 registered now. I'm really see, I'm wanting to see that number go way up since uh, we're centrally located and um, I have so many more of you that I want to meet. Um, okay, so flexible ordering. Um, we are, is this our third campaign in? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think that's right. Um, so what's the difference? We used to have different dates where our order was due based on where we live. Um, Avon said that's too confusing. Let's lift those due dates. Um, so now we have a two week time frame. Um, the advantage to ordering in the beginning is that there's more likely uh, product availability, uh, not probably not gonna go on back order as much as it will if you order at the end of the campaign. Um, you're also gonna stay away from any emergencies that may not allow you to place your order at the last minute. Um, so I don't know why, but there have been technical problems the past two campaign closes. Um, so I really urge you to put in that order um, it's due tomorrow, so put it in tonight. That way you allow for anything that may go wrong um, and you won't get as upset. Um, if you are upset, I advise you to stay away from Facebook. Facebook, <laughs> Facebook feeds fires. Um, so go ahead and figure out the schedule that works the best for you and your customers. Um, they are extending it to 5 p.m. Eastern instead of noon, and there are no late penalties. So um, get it in a couple days early. If I were you, I'd probably submit it on Sunday that gives you almost two full days for anything that may go wrong to prevent you from getting it in. Um, and then your online store is gonna switch the day before the campaign opens. <coughs> All right, so um, we want to be learning from Avon Corporate. We also want to be learning from our peers uh, that is um, all part of this business, like learning from others, what worked for them. Sometimes we implement it and we don't have the results that other people talk about. Um, but you just got to keep trying new things till you figure out what works for you. Um, pay attention to the people that are on these lists and um, those that are engaged with Avon. Uh, what do you like about them? Why do you think customers and team members are attracted to them? Um, so the cool part is that we can look at things we like that other Avon reps do and we can try to adopt them and change them to make, our, make them our own. Um, what I did is kept trying different things until I figured out what did work. Um, now I, I understand how what I need to do every campaign. I just can't always get it done. So um, it is a bit of a, of a struggle in the beginning. Um, I struggled for a year uh, and then I struggled for a few years after I opened the LABC. Um, so it's just how bad you want it. And yes, it does become worth it. Um, this driving me crazy, Some, why it keeps drawing. <laughs> Can you see that? No. No, okay. What's it doing? I keep getting lines like that, but I'm not. Oh, I see that one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, we have Luigi dabbing here and we're celebrating our top new reps. Those are uh, representatives who are in their kickstart program. Uh, so congratulations, Wanda, Michelle, Bertina, DJ, Brenda, Mia, Victoria, Luann, 
Chanel and Karina. Congratulations. Yay. Um, what I also will say is that um, really learning from people that are in the same stage of business that you're in um, has been really helpful uh, for me. So, um, you know, we're at different sales levels, we're at different leadership levels. Um, it, learn, it helps to learn from those who are where you want to be, but it also helps to uh, brainstorm and have conversations with your peers uh, that are at the same level. So um, these are wonderful numbers for brand new representatives. Um, you should be proud of yourself if you're on that list. And if you are not, you can get there. Um, just don't give up. Just keep trying. It is worth it. Um, it does take some persistence and some consistent activity. Um, one thing, you know, that I'll say from, from becoming successful is that social media wasn't really a big thing. And there was no one out there that was really blogging that much or doing videos. So um, there's a really great thing about Facebook and being able to learn and see what others are doing. Um, make sure you're taking just as much time to be productive and be doing income producing activities. Um, so keeping yourself accountable and tracking for President's Club. Uh, at the end of campaign 12, you should be around 4,600. Um, that's an average of 385 per campaign. Um, so if you're behind, start planning for that campaign 19. What are you gonna do to really make the most of that? Because I know you're attending Rep Fest and you're gonna get those double dollars. So what, you know, let me do a quick overview of double dollars. I do remember there being triple dollars when I first started and I had no idea what people were talking about. Um, it just means that you get double award sales. So if I submit a $500 order, um, it's gonna count towards my president's club uh, numbers as 1,000. It, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna make twice as much that campaign, um, but it is really gonna help me achieve my goal for the sales level I wanna hit. Um, and then also remember this is an average of 385. So of course at Christmas time, sales are gonna be a lot easier to come by. Um, so if you're a little behind, don't give up already. Start pushing and uh, really driving the activity that's gonna uh, boost those sales so that you hit the President's Club. You can see all of the perks of being part of these different sales levels um, under the rewards and recognition on your Avon.com. Um, so part of being a successful re representative is understanding the programs, understanding the incentives, um, really educating yourself about the business, about the products, um, about the rewards. So I used to get confused and overwhelmed and then things would change, um, but it really does become easier and you really do have to take the time to read and understand it yourself so that you can then teach it. Um, so look under rewards and recognition. You can look at the program guide um, and you can track where you are at for your sales level um, under your goal card and rewards and recognition. Um, this is really helpful. You can use this drop down menu to pick which sales level you want to hit. Um, it also tells you what you need to average per campaign to achieve your goal. Um, so, who wants to go to Hawaii? <laughs> Where you at, Leisha? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out. Okay. Well, you're going to make it. Um, 
start planning ahead. It's April 7th through the 11th. Um, Avon trips are completely amazing. I would take them over a powder pink Cadillac any day. <laughs> um, Avon really does up the trips. Uh, they treat you like royalty. Um, so start looking now at how you can achieve. Um, if you're a newer representative, um, your best chance is probably to be in the top five for sales increase um, for a first time sales level. So if you have never hit President's Club before um, and you reach it and you have the highest sales increase, you're going to be able to earn that trip. Um, so never count yourself out. Uh, always try your best. Um, and you know what? If you don't achieve it, <coughs> what is lost? You have grown your business. So um, always push yourself. Uh, let's celebrate our top established sellers. So Julissa, Kimberly, Marissa, Peter, Wendy, Fan, Barbara, Kelly, Leisha, Brandy, Dee, Kimberly, Sarah, LaToya, Thomas, Trisha, Ella, her name's Trisha Thomas, that was kind of funny, <laughs> Ella, Bridget, Lamont, and Angeline, um, congratulations. Yay. Um, yay! There are certain things that I do over and over because I know they work um, when you're drawing people to shop online with you. Uh, use the welcome 10 code to get them to place an order on your website um, and share about the free shipping. You are more than welcome to copy this label that I use. Um, of course, plug in your own information, but every single email address can use that code one time. Uh, we have great tools in place that Avon Corporate has uh, provided for us. So we have Avon Social, and um, it is a, a wealth of knowledge and images and videos. Um, makes it really simple for you to do your online marketing. Um, so you can go in there, you can uh, post directly to your social media. Um, sometimes I like to download the images and make like those Pazap collages for my team members. Um, go in there, get yourself familiar with it and take advantage of it. Um, What's Power Boost? What is it? Yeah. It's where you can uh, advertise through, through Avon Social. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. Um, so top 10 in e-sales, Wendy Smith, June, Brandy, Priska, Jacqueline, Monica, Morgan, Cindy, Peter, and Kristen. Congratulations. Um, as I always say, build in all of the opportunities that Avon provides for you. Um, you'll have a more solid foundation. You can invest more back into the business and you will not feel those ups and downs quite so, well, you wanna feel the ups, so you don't really wanna feel the downs. So um, when you grow <laughs> multiple areas of the business, um, it makes it a little bit easier to go through some of those uh, slower times. Yay! So uh, I am going to shut my mouth so that we can hear from Miss Leisha. Um, and she was one of the ones who came to the Chicago land and we got to celebrate together. Um, I am super impressed with her. She's a top seller. Um, she already has a $2,800 sales increase this year over what she had last year. Um, so she is doing awesome. Having that type of sales increase is not easy to do. And she just recently advanced to Bronze Ambassador. She, uh, she earned part of the promotion bonus and then maintained it 
two campaigns and I just saw she maintained it again. So she's going to get that full $500 bonus. So I'm going to turn it Thank over you. to Alicia. I'm glad you told me that I got the, the uh, last part of my $500 bonus because I've been afraid to look. <laughs> okay, well, I was, don't quote me until on. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I have, um, just this weekend, when Emily was asking me what to talk about, or asked me to talk to you all, and then I was asking what to talk about, and just this weekend, I had a vendor event. The Beer Cheese Festival is a local event. I think it was the 20th year we had it this year, or the 10th year, 10th year maybe. Anyway, we had about 30,000 people downtown Winchester, which is not a, a very big town. And it takes up the whole of Main Street from one end to the other. In the middle of it, they set up beer cheese vendors, and then the rest of it is everybody selling everything else. This year, we were up a little bit farther than what I would have liked to have been, but we were under a shade tree for the morning, so it was okay, because it was about 100 degrees in the shade. But um, I set up at, at the Beer Cheese Festival, and as I've learned to do this through my vendor events that I've been doing, I'm kind of tailoring it more to each event. I knew that there were things that I couldn't take with me, like the you know, skincare products because they were going to melt. Uh, I knew that the bug guard was going to go because of last year. I knew the skin so soft was going to go. I tried to take like the bath and body products. I took some blimber sticks because everybody loves those. I took the fragrances. I didn't take my jewelry. I have a lot of jewelry. I didn't take any of that. I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to, I knew it wouldn't, it probably wouldn't sell as well. So I didn't take it. Um, gave out a lot of brochures i think i 68 or so um anybody that i gave a brochure to and talked to them about doing the online ordering I, I personally went over and wrote the welcome 10 code on the back of it and explained it to them i had a lot of people that were telling me that they were looking for avon representatives and i'm thinking if there's so many of us where are they <laughs> why are these people looking for us and not finding us but we have had two local representatives within the past six months or so that were longtime representatives have passed away. I'm getting a lot of uh, new customers from that. And we also have a lady who has retired just doing online sales. And so I've heard a lot of people this weekend say they didn't want to do the online. They want somebody that's going to come to their house, bring them their order. And so I picked up a few new customers there as well. Um, when I first started doing vendor events, I was paying about $40 for one table for maybe four hours. And I, I learned quickly as I went along that that was a little bit much. And, there, and some days I didn't sell a thing and gave very few books out because it would be a lot of different people in one small space. So I've learned to uh, pick and choose where I go. And but I do a lot of different things. Like I did the beer cheese festival. I'm doing a, a cat show. It's called the triple crown fancy or something cat show. It's two days long and it's like a dog show and it's cats. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Uh, and then I've done a horse show. I did a horse show with, uh, back in April that cost me nothing. It just was take my table set up see what I could sell and I think I sold $18 and gave some books out but I had to leave early that day because it was my birthday weekend um, so I'm learning to do you know if I've done some events that were really good and then they'll invite me back the next year that's that's always helpful I sell a lot of products I'm also a paralegal at a law firm I sell a lot of stuff in my office everybody who's ever ordered from me gets a brochure every time they come out and then I also leave them in the common areas our break rooms and our service center um, I'm working on some girls in that service center to try to get them to sign up one of them was a representative she quit uh, because she was moving around a lot and another one who I'm trying she she loves Avon and she's working at Panera as a second job I'm trying to convince her she needs to not work at Panera she needs to do Avon instead so hopefully that'll work out um, 
and I get a lot of referrals from people here in town. I do, uh, I, I use Avon Social a lot, and I also um, have picked up a lot of people from the different vendor events that I do and from people sharing my information and then sharing that with their friends and getting up more, uh, more customers. So, um, and I've just started my team, as Emily said, I've just became a bronze ambassador and I'm glad that she said what she did earlier about not taking rejection <laughs> personally, because one of my, my newest team member I found out today was not, apparently she had been working with somebody else. So she was going to be removed from me and put with a different upline. Uh, and, and she was a surprise because I think I'd only sent her one email. So it wasn't somebody that I'd worked with. Apparently somebody else had worked with her. And, and so that was, uh, that was a little disappointing, but that happened to me one time with one of mine too. So I, I have to let that one go. But I also have that 25 that came from, from Amp It Up that we'll see what happens there. Hopefully they are interested in Avon and they weren't just people that were signing up to, to win a trip to uh, Nashville. So we'll see what happens. But we just keep plugging away. Cool. Well, thank you so You're much. Welcome. It's very, it's very impressive to me when I see, um, you know, both Cheryl and Leisha work full-time jobs and do Avon on the side and to see what you guys have been able to accomplish, um, not even working it full-time uh, is super impressive. So you keep uh, patting yourself on the back and keep growing. Um, it gets more and more exciting uh, the more customers you grow and the bigger your team gets. Um, so it's, it really makes it worth it uh, when you reach those higher levels. All the work in the beginning doesn't always feel like it's worth it, but, it, but I promise it pays off if you stick with it and you work hard. Um, so thank you, Leisha, so much for sharing. And we are going to unmute Miss Cheryl here. You had me on mute. <laughs> yes, I muted you. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. I'm going to start. Emily will know what I mean. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> okay. So new products. We have a lot of new products coming up um, starting in campaign 15. These are some of the products that are in 15 and I believe campaign 16 as well. We have the, the Mark Paradise line. They've got some really cool stuff. A couple things that I'm ordering. And the kids line is coming back. Yay. I'm so excited about that because I have almost a dozen grandkids. So that's pretty awesome. But always make sure that you're looking at your what's new brochures when you get them. And you're always gonna get them with your order. If you don't um, place an order, you can always go online. Um, I know Emily has them on her blog at makeupmarketingonline.com. And I also have them on my blog, showsplitsandglam.com. So even if you don't have one in hand, you can check to see what's coming up. And, you know, if you see something you like, buy it so you can wear it and share it. Um, and I buy all my gifts through the What's New as well. So lots of cool stuff coming up. Do, do, do. <laughs> okay, the Beauty Essential sam Sampler. So the more of these you buy, the cheaper they are. Um, you can get one for $6, five for $27, 10 for $48. And there's so many things that you can do with these. I buy them as um, incentives for my downline. Um, I might do an incentive where if new reps place a $150 order, they're gonna get one of these mailed to them. But one of the main things that I do with them is I break them all down and dump them into a box. And then based on order sizes, I use them as free gifts for my customers when they place orders. And they end up costing like $1.20 um, a piece for each product um, if you do the 10 for $48. So really good buys. Okay, so we have our semi-annual clearance coming up in campaign 15. 
And on the back of that, I don't know if you can see in my video, is the Bug Guard Minis and the Tote. Um, you get all three minis and the tote for $15, so you can share this with your customers. When you, you know, if you're delivering an order and you're giving them a brochure with their order, make sure that you point it out. And because this is one of our sale brochures, you're going to want to make sure that you order extra brochures and that you're getting those into the hands of your customers and potential customers. Maybe give your customers an extra one and ask them to share it with somebody. And it's also at the back of the brochure, it's going to highlight the, the Aspira Glow Beauty Inside Out system, which you get both of those for $54. And another thing, we do not have samples of this, but you can actually buy the, like the PM Restore. There's 30 packets in the box. They're $30. You're going to get 40% off of that. So your samples are only going to be, oh my gosh, I can't calculate that in my brain right now, but probably less than a dollar a piece. And you can actually put those in your customer's orders to try and get interest in purchasing them so that they can actually taste it and get the, the whole feel for it, whatever. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. So just some ideas, same with the minis. You can purchase the minis and pass them out at, um, well, we'll talk about that on another slide, but you can pass them out at different events and stuff. So our summer sale, which is gonna be in campaign 15. Oh, thanks, Lori. I wanted to let you guys know that the sale items go all the way through page 41 in the brochure. So you're looking at 40 pages of sale items. Um, get your orders in early if you have to place two orders in the campaign so that you're, you know, sure to get those items, um, you know, that they're not sold out because a lot of these items are going to sell out. But again, that's 40 pages of sale items. So this is a really good pro uh, brochure to invest in. And here are the three minis and the tote. It's only going to cost you $9. You can get that in the What's New brochure. Um, or you can purchase it when they come out for sale. But if you purchase it early, buy several of them. Maybe um, give the, the minis out to your customers as gifts to get them to purchase the bug guard. Um, maybe if you have somebody who places, you know, like a $100 order, you can put their order in the tote bag when you deliver it to them and you have a nice little gift for them. Just some different ideas. You wanna be creative and rewarding to your customers so that you're getting your repeat um, lifelong customers and building those relationships. And here again is the glow system. Um, and then you also have, these are your samples that you can buy. They do the natural energy, the calm, and the restful sleep. I like to keep these in stock because every time I hear somebody talk about having a hard time sleeping or falling asleep, um, I hand these things out. I'm actually going to get some of the restful sleep with my order. And I'm gonna take a sample to the post office because my local post office lady, who I've built a relationship with, we were talking and she was saying how she has such a hard time sleeping. So I'm gonna bring her a couple samples of the restful sleep. So always think about these things in the back of your mind. Okay, so these are the new, um, the, the, what do they call it? The Avon True Color, the Glow Lip Gloss. And what I've been doing is every campaign I've ordered four or five of them. I'm trying to get all the colors. And then what you can do is put them in your bag. And when your customers, um, when you go deliver an order or meet with a customer, you can do like in this um, picture. Thank you, buddy. In the picture, how, you know, they put the different colors on their arm. And that way it's an easy way to, for them to see the colors without you having, you know, to buy whatever, they don't have samples and this and that. So it's a really good way for them to actually see the colors and see the texture of it and everything. So this is what I'm doing, but these are great. I love them. 
Okay, tips for summertime sailing. Have your bug guard minis handy, and this is what I was talking about um, at the ballpark, the pool, block parties. Um, we have the new neutrals collection. I believe that is coming up in campaign 17. Um, and so you can buy those, purchase those for yourself at your discount, and you can wear them and share them to social events that you're going to or when you're delivering your orders. Share the kids' products with parents at pool time. It's the summer, all the kids are out of school, so there's gonna be a lot of different things going on, social events and stuff, and you can share whether it's a flyer or just bring the brochures and let people know that our kids' product line is coming back and it's better than ever. Make sure that when you go on vacation or wherever you go that you're bringing brochures with you. Make sure that um, you go to your online store and personalize it with your name and a photo, um, something about you. I know that when I go online and I'm shopping or whatever the case might be, I always go to the about page and I wanna know where is this company, who's running it, um, you know, those different things. Not everybody does it, but a lot of us do because of all the online, um, the, identity theft and everything which recently just happened to me so you want to make sure that you personalize personalize that and then schedule your avon post while you're away recently as you know we went on the cruise like a boss and we also went to chicago and so whenever i do these things whether i'm going to see my daughter in texas i always make sure that i um, s schedule all of my posts i do not use avon social i use the photos but I go ahead and I schedule them through Buffer. I love Buffer. And if I'm gonna be traveling or not around or whatever the case might be, I'll go ahead and make sure that those are scheduled while I'm, while I'm gone. But otherwise I do do them automatically every two weeks. Step up and join Team Avon. Look, I'm really excited about this. A Emily and I did the Avon 39 walk and I, I, I really didn't ever want to do it again, but I promised Emily I would, and I was really sad about it, <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I mean, the first time and only time I did it, I thought I was going to die. It was just awful, and when I found out that they were going to be doing um, the Making Strides walk, I mean, I just wanted to celebrate. I wanted to go out and eat a big old steak and have some margaritas. I was so happy because the walks are so much shorter. Anybody and everybody can do this. If you can't do it, you can volunteer. Um, sign up to be a volunteer. Um, but what they're doing this year, based on your, um, your earnings, is you're going to earn these pins, and then you're also um, going to get a chance to earn a trip to New York City. I mean, how awesome is that? So make sure that you're signing up. Look for Team Avon when you sign up and join Emily and I and hundreds, hopefully thousands of other reps across the country um, that are stepping up and are going to walk for breast cancer. And you can read more about this too when you go into the um, success center at youravon.com. Okay, Emily did talk about the double, double dollars. Um, you have to attend Rep Fest to earn it. It's going to be really exciting. I am hoping, um, I, I always make it to President's Club, but it's always a struggle to, to do um, Honor Society again. And I really, really focus on the double dollars to get me there. So um, you, again, you can read about this on the, um, oh, I just forgot what it was called. Sorry. Anyways, you can read about it on your Avon. Huh? Are you talking about the beauty buzz? No, not the beauty buzz, where all the incentives are. Oh, the success center? Success center. I just went brain dead. Sorry, everybody. Um, anyway, so you can read about all of the incentives and everything in the Success Center. It's going to be on your landing page after you log into your Avon.com. So go to Rep Fest. It's going to be so much fun. And you can be at the heart of it all. I believe this ends in Campaign 13. So we're talking, you have until noon tomorrow 
but if you sell $200 in each campaign or a total of $1,000 during the incentive period from campaigns 11 to 13, you're gonna get the sunglasses, I guess they're sunglasses, and the scarf. And then if you've got qualified new recruits, you could earn the VIP party and money towards your hotel. So do what you can between new, now and I guess it's 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. The double promotion bonus. So this is going to be ending as well. Campaign 13 was the last campaign for qualify new recruits to place that for is it to place the first order or to um oh my god it's going crazy it should All be right. it should be for the new reps that join that join um again go to the uh, success center and they're going to have all the details there but um if you have new reps that join between campaign five to thirteen you want to make sure that they know about the rapid um, promotion bonuses because there's a lot of money to be had. So always be checking the Success Center for all of these incentives, especially if you're a leader. And so this is where Emily is going to take over. I thank you guys for your time. And um, go, go, Emily. Woohoo! All right. Uh, thank you, Cheryl and Leisha. Uh, Lori's saying thank you too. Um, so let's just go over the basics of starting your own team. Uh, startavon.com is the best place to uh, send people. I like to say that when you're promoting your team on paper, to use um, the startavon.com option. And then your reference code is the last part of your website. Um, so anyone in the United States uh, can go to startavon.com and when they enter your reference code, um, they should join your team. Um, I do know there are some issues of connecting with the right person. Um, so we just wanted to let you know if someone has ever inquired online um, and then they use that same phone number to try and sign up again, they're going to go back to the first leader that they ever inquired with. Um, so a way to make sure they go to your team is uh, the startavon.com and actually manually enter your reference code. Um, if they went to your website and click on sell Avon, um, that's where it can get messed up. Um, but there is an opportunity for that new representative within the first five days um, to contact Avon and let them know there was an error and they were supposed to be signed up with so-and-so. Uh, -so. so as a leader, um, hold yourself accountable as well. Just because someone said, oh, I'm going to hang up and I'm going to go do that and I'm going to sign up right now. Um, it's up to you to be watching for that confirmation email. Um, you'll receive an email from Avon Corporate that says you have a successful self-appointment. If someone has told you they're going to sign up and you don't get that confirmation, you definitely want to follow up um, and just uh, know that you're being helpful. Don't, don't feel like you're being a nuisance. Um, you just always want to be... Ava has an, a new mask on. All right, you need to get rid of those wrinkles. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, so there's a very short time frame to make any changes. So as a leader, you really want to make sure that everything goes through correctly. Um, and it's a good learning opportunity for you as well. If there's any problems, you call the leadership desk and um, going through those different types of uh, experiences will help you become a stronger leader. 
Um, so you can earn big money with team building. Uh, you know, in Disney, Rob and I received uh, three different $5,000 checks from Avon uh, for being, uh, for our whole team, congratulations, Team Momentum, uh, for being number one in the nation. We are using that to hopefully put down on a house. Um, so we had a contingency that we had to sell our house before we get the other house. So everybody keep their fingers crossed for us. Um, and thank you, Avon, for allowing us to have that sort of income to, to put a down payment on and um, hopefully move into my house that has a separate office that I've been telling you guys that I want so badly. <laughs> All right, so um, recruiting, when you help them be successful and they submit a uh, $150 first or second order, um, you earn a $20 bonus. It's a $50 bonus if you're still in the Kickstart program. Um, so don't overthink these things. Don't stress out about them too much. Um, just support and train and coach your new team member. Um, what you do is you get them very familiar with the Kickstart program because um, that's gonna be what makes them the most money and makes them successful which in turn brings in the leadership money for you. Um, you also get a 3% cut of their sales for the lifetime that they are a representative as long as you're submitting a $50 order in the campaign. Um, the promotion bonus. So that's what we were just talking about with Leisha, how she earned um, an extra $500 just for growing her team um, and being a strong leader. Uh, so that is $1,000 in team sales. Silver is $2,000. So she's very close to earning an extra $750. Um, so I was one of the anti-leadership, how come? everything Avon is all about leadership. I don't want to do that. And I used to be on that side too. <laughs> um, and then I just got really tired of complaining and not doing something about it. So um, I found the way that I enjoy recruiting. Um, I have to tell you that the leadership side uh, is the most exciting. It's the most rewarding. Um, it's really what uh, starts building that momentum um, so that all the stress and the weight's not on just your shoulders anymore. So you work as a team, you can grow to uh, super high levels um, and fulfill all those dreams that you thought about, that you've put on your dream board, um, all those those big ideas that came to your head when you thought about starting your own business. Um, so I've always liked math. I like numbers, but even this chart scares me a bit. <laughs> I want to encourage you to be focused on just always growing your team. Okay. So um, up until you get to the leader level, you should just always be focused on recruiting um, and, and letting your team know how much fun recruiting is and that you guys can do it together. Uh, you don't have to feel like you have to know everything before you start a team. Um, learn and do it together. It's a lot more fun that way. Um, and then when you get to the higher levels, it's about recruiting, but also building leaders um, and doing some of those things that uh, maybe a manager would do, like order reminders and communications. Um, so there's, there's inspiring and motivating things that you can do as a leader. Uh, there's reminders and managerial things you can do um, to keep your, your team accountable. So um, always focus on growth and uh, the money starts getting bigger 
at the very top of the ladder here. Um, you're going to be having those annual trips, uh, free travel for you um, every year, and a six-figure income. Uh, so before I was making good money, it was always the leaders above me that kept that, that hope <laughs> um, that drive that, okay, one day this is all going to pay off. Um, and believe me, it does. And not many people get there because it's not easy to get there. You got to be willing to put in the work, the effort, the daily grind. You have to discipline yourself. You can't just hang out on, on Facebook all day long. <laughs> I know you guys love it when I tell you that. <laughs> Um, anyways, celebrating our campaign 12, recruiting and leadership. So our top five leaders, Cheryl, Jane, Kim, Terry, and Becky, um, top five team members, Cheryl, Jane, Kim, Terry, and Trisha. <laughs> Lori's already trying to make excuses why she's hanging out on Facebook. You know what you got to do? You got to, I used to do the same thing and someone would be like, well, Emily, how come you didn't get this done? Or what did you do today? And I'd think, and then be like, hmm, <laughs> I really don't think I, I accomplished anything today. I felt really busy, but uh, <laughs> so um, really being able to write down, okay, here's what I accomplished today. Here's what I want to accomplish tomorrow. Maybe here's my hour of social time where I'm just gonna go and have some fun on Facebook. Uh, so self-discipline, yeah, it's not very much fun, but uh, the good money and the rewards that come with it uh, make it make it worth your while. And a lot of times I'll stay off Facebook and then I'll get on and realize that I didn't miss anything. So <laughs> that's my, my tough love talk. Hopefully you guys will be preaching it someday too. Okay, so Jane, Cheryl, Kim, Heather, Trisha, Melissa, Ashley, Ellen, Leisha, Becky, Amy, Barbara, Victoria, Adina, and Leticia, congratulations. You have all added team members. Mine is actually up in the background because, okay, Amy says she gets referrals. Um, we all have to do what's best for us with me like that. Ding, ding, ding. I'll be like, oh, what happened? I have like such bad ADD that I can't focus on what I'm supposed to be getting done. And that is why I do not leave Facebook open. Um, so do what works best for you. Uh, 41 appointments in June. It's the 11th, holy cow. <laughs> the cool thing about online sales, online marketing, online recruiting, it pre produces results that are not physically possible to do face-to-face. -face. Uh, so that's what I really love about it. Um, I hope that my team loves it too. I was a little bit uh, more shy and reserved and don't like prospecting. Um, so writing blogs and, and posting on social media actually draws people in that are already interested in selling. So um, I really like the method of attracting people to me. I don't, I'm not a pushy salesperson. And my, real, my realtor was. <laughs> So Cheryl heard my story today. Um, she, she upset me a little bit. She was kind of, I think, you know, I'm short. I don't weigh the most and people just think that they can like run me over. And she was trying to make us commit to this house, like without even getting us 24 hours. So um, I have learned to stand up for myself. I used to just uh, internalize that and make it feel, make me feel bad about myself, but I don't do that anymore. And I do stand up when someone pushes me too hard. So um, I encourage you guys to do that as well. Don't let life just happen to you. 
uh, you do what you want to happen in life, okay? Otherwise, it can just happen to you. You look back 10 years, you really didn't accomplish what you wanted to accomplish. Um, so all of these things here make up a great leader, recognition, encouragement, support, expects the best clear communication, vision, good example, clear goals, integrity, inspiration, focus on your team. Um, so it's challenging, but it is worth it. Uh, so you can still follow me on social media. I still have my blogs out there. Um, and here are some service providers that I find make my life easier. Um, do or don't use my referral link. It's okay. I really just want to help you guys. <laughs> uh, call for support. So Avon is there to answer questions for you. Um, I need to find a new realtor. Robin, I know it just, it all, you know, we were getting really frustrated because we couldn't find a house that we liked. And we always have the wrong timing. So of course, when we're ready to buy, it's a seller's market, which is good for this house, bad for the house we're buying. Um, so anyways, we've been looking for weeks um, and just getting really frustrated. Stuff's overpriced. We weren't finding something that fit what we wanted. We are about to give up and then it's like, oh, there's this beautiful home. It's contingent on your home selling in three weeks. So then it was like, oh my good God, we were just frustrated. Now we're stressing out and freaking out. Um, but the first, guy, the first guy that came in Friday put an offer on our house. So uh, say, say some prayers for us that everything goes through smoothly. Um, my business sense was like, no, this girl doesn't need to be pushing me. Like we're the customer here. So um, as a woman, uh, I think we take on a, a brunt of a lot of things that men don't deal with. Uh, sometimes it's being pushed around. Sometimes it's being judged, uh, critiqued, criticized. I really think like women are worse at this than men. <laughs> Um, so be sure that you're setting the boundaries in your life to keep you happy, your family happy, um, and that everything is in perspective, how you want to live your life. And that's what's so beautiful about the Avon opportunity. You really can make the most of it uh, on your terms. So go register for RepFest. I want to see you guys all there. Uh, don't, if you're saying, oh, but Emily, I have this, Emily, I can't afford this. Uh, a lot of my big leaps in life and, uh, why we've become successful quickly, uh, is, is, uh, my courage. I, I jump into things and then I figure it out as I go. Um, so make sure you're taking calculated risks in life. Um, if you never go for it, you may never get there. So uh, do what makes sense for you in your life. A happy life is a balanced life. Be kind, but not a doormat. Be trusting, but value boundaries and intuition. Be content, but stay open to growing. So I, I sure did you post that? I think so. Yeah, I think I stole it from you. It's okay. <laughs> Credit goes to Miss Cheryl for posting that. I um, just found it on the internet. Well, I still <laughs> took it from you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions? Yay, Cynthia. Not even six months in and registered for Rep Fest. Woo! Um, Woo it's gonna be super exciting. Uh, any questions? Lori's going to be at Rep Fest. Excited to see you there as well. Hey, I have something to point out. All right, point it out. On, um, 
on campaign 17 on the what's new on page 13 there's going to be an awesome bundle for only 35 dollars and it's everything that i use for 35 dollars you get the the wrinkle cream the um, power serum what book are you in it's i don't have it with me i was looking online it's the what's new for campaign 17. oh yeah see she can just pull it up yeah hang on. go emily go emily i'm excited because they're all products that i use and i'm going to save so much money oh I'm see and i'm 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 rebranding my my blogs you are i am i'm freshening them up so uh That's what i did this last weekend you did? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I had to, because we have new shipping fees. We have, um, I had new awards that I had to add to my story. And so I spent 16 hours on my blog. Ooh. Right there. Ooh, Check that it is out. A, wow, that's a really good <laughs> deal. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. I use the eye cream, the power serum. I use the um, black pearl. I use the gold face mask. And I don't really use the wrinkle cream, but hey, I can always sell it. 35 yeah. bucks. That is an awesome deal. Just wanted to point that out. Cool, cool. Uh, one thing I'll point out. Uh, one, of my, one of our new reps said which which one of our um oh there's a new there's a new recruiting image too yeah that's nice too fun um so she said which one of our bug products protects from whatever these things are because they've never <laughs> <heard of them. laughs> so it's it was uh no seums so uh -huh. whatever those are uh, you can type it in the search box and it pulls open your products. Um, so whenever people ask me questions about products that I'm not really familiar with, um, I always come to my own website. There's lots of helpful info on here. Uh, gives you the benefits, how to use it, and then it pulled open that keyword that I uh, searched for. Um, so uh, you can search for ingredients, you can search for, uh, you can search for oil free, um, but then double check, you know, double check the products when you open it up. Yeah, Cynthia, I don't, I don't think the no seums are in, are in the Midwest. You just don't know because you can't see them. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, I want to. I, I want to add. Nerd. <laughs> I know. I want to add another thing real quick on the okay. Bug Guard wipes. Did you guys know that if you purchase them for yourself and you get forty percent off, they end up you get eight in a bag, so they end up costing you fifty-two cents each. What I do is I order those and I give them as samples or gifts to my customers. And from doing that, I've been getting a lot of bug guard orders compared to last year. So just another idea of ways to use your product and share with your customers. Aha, uh -huh. I got one right here. There you go. <laughs> um. So always helpful to see like what the products look like um, and be creative with samples. Uh, so there is samples that Avon provides. There's other creative ways that you can make your own samples. Uh, and sometimes you get way more out of the full size product um, and dividing it up yourself. I also <laughs> like I like the idea of putting uh, the reorder label right on there. So you put your phone number and your website. Uh, that way they um, can follow up with you easily. Um, That's what I was just going to add. So good job, Emily. <laughs> yay. 
Um, something else, they even, uh, they do add in quite a few helpful tools to keep us on track. Um, so I don't know if you guys noticed, um, let me walk you through a couple of helpful places here. Uh, the Success Center is always the place that I go to find Isabel. The uh, current incentives, you can find all your guides and your flyers, uh, events and meetings. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Because my dog heard your dog bark, so now oh. he's barking. <laughs> Um, the beauty buzz is right here. So if you don't get the emails for some reason, uh, no excuse, you can still see it all. You can find the training calendar by clicking right through there. And that customer follow-up report. <laughs> <laughs> We're making all the Avon dogs in the U.S. bark. <laughs> Mine loves to listen to Emily talk. Poor dog. Oops. <laughs> okay, so uh, I probably shouldn't show that, but uh, what you can do is go through there. Avon has created a follow-up report for us. Um, something that I always do is uh, send out catalogs to my online customers. Yes, I do know that they have the option of adding a book to their cart. I like to continue sending one to them for two months after they order. Um, I do find that most of them enjoyed the, the paper catalog over the online brochure. Um, so some some kind of cool things, how you can mix in your face-to-face -face sales and marketing um, and your online customers. Another thing that's helpful um, is that you can track, you can track your customer's order. So whenever, uh, whenever I have an online customer who asks me questions, um, I always try to help them as much as I can so if you have their order number and their email address, um, you can actually pull up their tracking um, and then send them that link. Um, yeah, and Lori, I, I get that too, that uh, a lot of times they forget to add it to their cart. Um, I think that mail is still effective in some manner uh, because uh, so many are pe people are going electronic to email and social media uh, that sometimes the mail now is getting seen more than all this e-news e and e-ads. Emily? Yes, ma'am. Um, I have an email from somebody trying to sign up and they say that they keep getting kicked off my website. Well, what's the best one to go to? Startavon.com? Yeah, if they're having, yeah, if they're having issues, I would send them to startavon.com. Thank you. Are you froze up? I'm still here. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Emily. I sent her a text message, message telling her she was froze up. So does that, anybody else have any questions or um, Lisha, do you have anything that you can add some little tricks that you do? I just make sure everybody gets 
they say everybody gets brochures for me I'm texting people and emailing them and messaging them before time for my orders to go in and I put in an order every Sunday now because my my business has grown so much for me to can it's easier for me to break it up and get it get it back out there nice do you have weekends off yep okay yeah I do too but what I do is um I just do one order and so every other Saturday I'm delivering orders and then the other two Saturdays is when I'm doing my blog or not my blog well my blog posting but also my buffer posting for the next two weeks so I'm working every Saturday and then I take Sundays off I refuse mm -hmm. to work on Sunday we gotta have one day for ourselves mm-hmm Ellen, Ellen's asking, do you find the team members don't open the e-cards? Emily, you're back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use the e-cards, so I don't know. I, I mean, I have like a, usually my email open rate is like 10%. So it's always good to use multiple, multiple forms of communication. I, I've been sending text messages and I got that new app that, um, oh, I forget who it was that told me about it. It's, um, mass text message, MTM basic. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I did, um, I broke it down instead of just sending one text message to every single rep. Cause I've got like 350 that I send them to. So I broke them down al alphabetically and it takes me less than a minute to send my text messages out now. I was doing them every single night. <laughs> I mean, every single one individually. So it's been working out really good for me. I'm getting a lot of response. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys uh, so much for joining. I will send out the recording and I will send the link for our next webinar. Thank you, Cheryl and Leisha. Good night. Yay, Leisha. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.